Hey y'all. So funny thing was asked of me today. Why? Why do you do this? Are you some sort of doomsdayer? No. Well, then why? It's a lot of work. Yeah. You ain't kidding. It's a lot of work. So why do it? Well, I don't want to be dependent. I don't want to be dependent on, hell, I hardly want to be dependent on my man people. And I really like him. So big pharma, big corporations, big food chains, you know, that's all great. It's not where I want to be. Now, if that's where you want to be, then by all means, switch the channel, you know? Uh, now it's this, we used to go up and turn the dial on the TV and adjust the antennas, you know? And then you get another piece of tin foil and see if you can make all the connections work. But anyway, I digress. So, why do you do it? Why should you start? Well, I'm not gonna tell you you should start. I think you should, but that's me. I watch the news, I read the newspapers, I watch the prices at the market. I watch the prices at the co-ops. Yeah, we're not going down, people. So, when 2020 happened, everybody's in a panic. Oh my God, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> I got a remedy for that. <laughs> We're out of this, we're out of that. Oh, hold on. I think I can help you. It's simple change of life things. Not the whole thing. You don't have to go and do a whole bunch of, you know, oh, I have to have a chicken coop and I have to have Nigerian goats and I have to have a bunny. No, I've been working out this plan for a long time now. If you want to be self-sufficient, if you don't want to be dependent on, you know, the runs on toilet paper and um, <laughs> the run on everything, I, the grocery store shelves, I'm not even in a big metropolis. I'm in kind of a small hometown like feel on the outskirts of it, of course, but I don't go run into the market. I don't have to now. Again, if that's something that you like, by all means, knock your socks off. It's not for me. Hey, yeah, heifer, get out of the treats. My girlfriend Shannon told me, get your goats, animal crackers. They're like crack to these guys. They keep trying to open up the food bin. Sorry. But in all actuality, I don't want to have that panic in my life. So I'm not a doomsdayer. If it happens, it happens. I'm right with the Jesus. I'm good. If he's going to rapture us all out, by all means, hallelujah, pass the butter. Let's go. Right? Just let me take my dog and my goats. I really have gotten attached to my goats. But I'm not a doomsdayer. Yeah. I got, I got a German Shepherd. Yeah. What was that movie? The Terminator. Yeah, I saw that one too many times. I think I'm gonna be a Sarah Connor slash homesteader. But that's not, that's not why I do it. I do it for my own self, my own gratification, um, my own self sake. Um, sustainability it's a sense of pride you know you you grow certain things that not only are nutritious or super delicious um, but they're medicinal okay well then you get a couple of animals and quite frankly I really wanted a baby goat When we moved back out west, I was like, hey, 
I want a goat named Sadie and a cow named Mabel. He's like, we can't have a cow. Okay, well, how about a mini cow? I really tried that, a mini cow. Okay, I live on over, just over an acre of land. Three gallons of milk, a mini cow, lots of feed, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I got dwarf goats. So it was a win. Um, I don't have as much milk as I want to because, well, they only have whittle at us. The, the widow, little. Anyway. So I get about a quart a day from each one. I wanted a baby goat though, just because they like wing all over the place. Anyway, see, squirrel. Anyway, I love animals. I have the heart for animals, so I can do that. Um, I love to eat, so I want food. Yeah, I want food. And um, there's nothing better than picking a tomato off of the, the vine and just eating it right there. Fried green tomatoes. I'm sorry. Where can you get some green tomatoes? So I have these plethora of ideas running through my head about all the things that I want to do, um, that I like to do. I like to cook. Um, I'm in the kitchen a lot. I mean, if you can't find me, I'm usually in the kitchen or outdoors. So <laughs> if that is not a part of your being, then maybe homesteading isn't for you and you should go to the market and you should buy yourself some spam and beanie weenies and uh and the the cans with that uh, fake beans you know with the little fake chunks of whatever that are in there then go go do that go do it but don't come at me like i'm a doomsdayer no because i'll i'll beat you with some knowledge that's basically what's going on uh yeah even dog food holy crap have you seen the prices of some dog food now holy moly somebody here is gonna go yeah. on a diet he don't know that yeah he just gave me the look he's not going on the diet so you save and you pinch pennies wherever you can you buy um a dollar bag of seeds and you eat that and you can re um, you can propagate those seeds you can save the seeds out of your tomatoes and make more tomatoes and more tomatoes and more tomatoes you know you can take trimmings off of bushes I back here I took some trimmings off of my sister's grapevines I thought mm, not very many are gonna are gonna take last year I tried like 20 nothing this year I'm like sticking them in the ground bam 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 there's 32 grapevines out there that have started they all took not including the ones I propagated in the bucket uh, I don't drink wine uh, so I told the family I said I hope y'all like grape juice so we'll be canning <laughs> some grapes hopefully but you can propagate, you can um, build your stock, you can do all of these things. It doesn't, yes, it takes work. I was gonna say it doesn't take that much effort or work, but it does take work. I'd be lying. Yeah, I'd be straight up lying because there are some days I am dog tired and I am looking at my goats. I'm like, could you milk yourself, please? I know it's only 15, 20 minutes out of my life, but I, I am dog tired. I need a nap. And then they go making those sounds and bah, and then they start tromping around places. So you go out and milk. And then you get your milk. And then you think of all the possibilities. You can make milk, you can make cheese, you can make this, you can make that. Um, currently, right now, I'm making ice cream. 
my first batch, so I didn't want to do it on camera because <laughs> sometimes first batches are poop. So we'll see if it works out, then I'll show you all how to do it. But again, I digress because squirrel. Um, being a homesteader or trying to be a prepper or whatever you want to call it, that is completely up to you. You need to think about that, pray about it, um, do whatever you do, meditate, talk to Buddha, I don't, I don't know, um, figure it out and then stop being scared about it. It's more scary to look at the fuel prices and it's more scary to look at how much um, a dozen eggs is right now. That crap is some scary crap. Um, I won't need to get eggs. <laughs> I still need to get fuel. So, I gotta pinch my pennies where I can. Um, now, it is probably one of the most self-rewarding thing I've ever done for myself. And I say myself, yes, I have Ryan here and you know, he, he found us a great, beautiful home and you know, I'm back in the PNW um, where I love it by waterfalls and all the such. And I have some dirt. Find yourself some dirt and grow, whether it's on in pots. Um, I'll do things on uh, planting things in uh, pots or buckets that you get from the market. Um, and they give them away for free. Um, I'll show you different things. If that is something you want to do. Now, if you don't, go get your spam and your beanie weenies. I'm good. I'm good. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Go on about your bad self. Do it. Get toilet paper. And do all that panic crap. Or I can show you what I've done. My friends have taught me. My family has taught me. Um, I have some friends that uh, make their own dog food. I have, uh, oh, yeah, that's a cool thing. Yeah, I make my own dog, well, some of my own dog food because he spoiled us, just be real honest. Um, and if you know anything about me and Clyde, that boy is spoiled. Um, but I can show you things that make life easier. You won't have to panic. Um, meat went on sale. Nope, just kidding. Meat is, you know, ground beef is $5.00. A little a little tube I can show you ways to help preserve that I just got a call today um, a, a gal she's like oh my gosh my freezer just went out and it is one of these big double door mamba jamba I mean like I that's pretty exciting but it just went out holy crap they had I don't know probably a beef and a half in there um, pork everything and she's like well, what do I do I'm like whatever we can't manipulate and get into a different freezers and and do all that kind of stuff I'll start canning because truly she's watching the house for her folks and she did not want to ruin their vacation by saying our freezer just went out and we lost thousands of dollars of meat so she knew I can can that crap and get it on a shelf prepare yourself what do you have on the shelf what do you have in the freezer what happens if the power goes out Let's think about those things. Do I have canned meat? Yes. 
Yes. Is some of it store-bought? You bet. Not going to lie about that. Some of it is store-bought. But I canned my own meat and stew, and I have it ready to go. Now, doomsday, what is that? No. Our families, our ancestors didn't do this kind of crap because they were always preparing for doomsday. They did it for necessity. You, you eat what you grow. If you don't grow it, you don't eat it. Well, crap. I like to eat. I don't know about you all, but I'm pretty good being a little chubby. Yeah, I'm making ice cream because ice cream is $7 right now for a little one liter. They're not half gallons now, people. Look at the shrinkage. It's 1.5 liters on most containers for $7. I can wipe out that in like two nights. Seven dollars. Uh, Seven dollars here or there, whatever. No, no. Milk has gone up. Everything has gone up. So back to, if you don't grow it, you don't eat it. Okay. Well, I can't grow flour. No, I don't have a churn, a, a, a wheat grinder. I don't have one of those. So what did our, our ancestors do? They traded, they bartered, okay? So I'm gonna be bartering for some dog food as well. So I know she's got, she's got a good hook, but there's ways you, you can, I mean, use what you have. I'm not saying go out and hoard everything. I'm not saying go out to every flea market and whatever. But if you see a pressure canner, holy crap, grab it. You know, if you see one at Goodwill, grab it. Yeah. Water bathing for jams and jellies and, and whatnot. Grab it. Start collecting. It's, uh, you know, $5 here, $10 there. Um... My sister just got a rockin' deal on uh, a couple of pressure canners for me. One was brand new. Um, I, I asked her, I was like, did you do anything inappropriate to get this for that price? That's crazy. She's like, nope. Then she was at the, the, the Goodwill or secondhand or some such thing. And she found another one for me, a tall boy. That's pretty exciting. Now, it didn't have a weight on it. So, it was really cheap. I think it was $7. Those canners are like $170 right now. It's ridiculous. Doesn't have a weight, but I got a weight. I got another weight. So, if you see those things, pick it up here and there. Start your process. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of, I'm going to fail. You know how many times I planted my garden this year? This year alone. Three. Three. We had great weather. Great spring. Had a massive storm. And that storm annihilated it. Between the rain and the wind, we had one of our trees come down. One of our big fatty trees. Um, it came crashing down, limbs, branches, everything, everywhere. Wiped it out. Grabbed some dirt and started all over again planting my seeds. I picked some up at the, um, the co-op. That sucks. I hate buying seeds for starts. But I did it. So, and then the slugs ate them. How do you like them apples? So I have more started already again. Um, the slugs got it faster than my home remedies could, could take effect because it rained so much. So, however, we're still in a drought condition. So you're gonna have good days. 
you're gonna have some freaking great days and you're gonna have some really big bummer days but the time to start is now absolutely right now whether you get a journal and you start planning it out you get your journal out and you start mapping out what you could do for pots or garden beds or whatever it is time is now I'm not gonna give you some big hullabaloo about doomsday and we're all going to hell in a handbasket I'm not gonna do that if you're a believer you're a believer and you just stick to your guns and know your true heart I give all the glory to God he's blessed me Bless me in learning when I fail. Don't forget that one, people. Seriously, don't. You always learn something. And he has blessed me in so many other ways. Growth. I can share. I can help people. Helping your neighbor when they're about to lose thousands of dollars in me and you can walk over there with absolute 110% confidence and say, I got you, sweetie. I got you. Not to worry. We'll get it all canned up or we'll do whatever we got to do, but we will make this work. Homesteaders have like-minded and like hearts. You can make your own decisions. You do your beanie weenies, or you can, or and make your own stuff. You prep. You'll be okay. One way or another, you'll be okay. So, anyways, I believe in you. I am always here to answer questions that I don't know everything, people. I don't. I don't know everything, and just know. A lot about a little. Wait, I said that wrong. I know a little about a lot of things. May love, peace, and blessings fill your day and your hearts.